Thank you, Reverend Jackie. And boy, is it ever good to have you back. Good morning, church. Wherever you are right now, you are watching or listening from your holy place as you worship with us. God is with us. He is with us in every breath and in every hardship that we experience as we move through this, the trauma of this pandemic together. We are indeed thankful that a vaccine is now being distributed around the world. Church, you have showed your support and expressed your gratitude for our Knox ministry team and our caring teams. And we want to thank you for the good work that you continue to do every day. Do you realize that with every phone call, text, card, encouraging email, you offer grace and comfort. And you're also often the highlight of someone's day. That is a powerful way to reach out and care at a time when we cannot visit, give each other a hug, hold our grandchildren, or snuggle our grandbabies. David, your joy in sharing so many triumphs of New Road's construction journey, and most recently its completion, have been infectious. And I want to share with everyone that Wendy was able to share your latest video, video pardon me, of the completion of phase one of New Roads with Helen this week at Oakville Hospital. Helen is a vital part of the New Roads team and was so pleased to be able to see the results of all the dedication and hard work. What a blessing. And happy birthday to those who are creatively looking for ways to celebrate this month. We have Sarah, and we have new daddy, Brett. He may want to sleep. Allison, Carol, Connie, Fiona, Ashley, and Andrea. And we also want to wish congratulations and happy anniversary to Irwin and Helen and to Louis and Elma. I believe that both Irwin and Helen and Louis and Elma have been married for over 50 years. Sorry, I mixed up my pages here. One's worst nightmare. <laughs> I'd ask you to remember our people who are not well. Helen and Margaret are in hospital. Noha will be having some surgery this week. Pray for them. Continue to pray for Marjorie, Duncan's mother, in hospital in Scotland, and for Aunt Helen in hospital in Kitchener. Others are recovering at home. Still others are waiting for diagnostic tests. We just ask that you continue to pray for them because they all appreciate the gift of your prayers. And let's continue to support each other in every way that we possibly can. When you pray, I encourage you to take your church directory or even your telephone or address book and pray for your friends. Or perhaps just look out the window and pray for your neighbors and those on the street. Or simply just chat with God as your friend because he listens and he hears your every word. And your Knox team is praying for you every day of each week. Church, keep us up to date with all the celebrations, your funny experiences, your prayer requests, and your pastoral needs. I love to hear your stories about worship, your worship experience with us, and what is and what is not happening in your life. 
I was recently told how much one of our people looked forward to sitting at their kitchen table and worshiping God together with us each Sunday morning with the birds singing outside her window. She also commented on how nice it was to hear Reverend Jackie say, enjoy, and Bird Chaplain Lynn to say, air hugs. So Ina, we can look forward to hearing Reverend Jackie's enjoy soon. And to all of you, God bless you and your families and air hugs, big, cozy air hugs.